Palantir isn't some little contractor helping the government with boring back-end IT. They are building the operating system for modern warfare, and they've quietly embedded themselves into the bloodstream of the Pentagon, NATO, and half the Western world's defense infrastructure. So let's unpack the most insane defense products Palantir has built the stuff they don't put in their press releases. From battlefield AI to orbiting surveillance nets, you're about to see how a company with zero weapons, zero tanks, and zero jets is outmaneuvering the entire military-industrial complex with code. Let's start with something so insane it sounds fake. Palantir built an AI system that talks like ChatGPT, but it's trained for war. It's called AIP the Artificial Intelligence Platform, and if that name sounds boring, it's because Palantir intentionally undersells it. Because what AIP actually does is wild. AIP is deployed into live military environments. It's plugged into drone fleets, targeting systems, logistics networks, and satellite imagery. And it's trained to think like a battlefield commander. Let me walk you through the official Palantir demo. And yes, this is real, and it's being used by NATO and the US Department of Defense right now. So you're an operator, you log into AIP, it flags an alert. Enemy forces are massing near the border. So you type, what are my options? A few seconds later, AIP hits you with three fully developed military options, including real-time maps, force estimates, suggested countermeasures, and whether or not you've got enough Javelin missiles in inventory to execute the strike. Then it asks, do you want me to dispatch the drone? Do you want me to jam enemy comms? Do you want a kinetic response or a recon mission? It's basically a combat strategist with plugins. This thing compresses a six hour staff briefing into 60 seconds. It pulls from live sensors, previous battle history, satellite feeds, classified briefings, and talks to you like it's just helping plan dinner. Except the dinner is a missile strike and the guest list is getting vaporized. But wait, isn't this dangerous as hell? Yes, obviously. Even Palantir admits this thing is a loaded gun with an AI brain. That's why they've built guardrails. AIP can't pull the trigger. It can suggest, simulate, task assets. But humans still make the final call for now. So AIP is the brain. But what about the eyes? In modern war, if you don't see first, you die first. And Palantir's answer to that is a goddamn orbital AI hive mind. It's called Meta Constellation. It turns space itself into a weaponized AI surveillance system. Meta Constellation connects hundreds of commercial, government, and military satellites into a single global sensor web. But it's not just collecting data. It's deciding what to look at, when, and why. It's like Google Earth, if it had a brain, a mission, and a kill count. And the best part? The analysis doesn't wait for humans. AI models run on the edge, meaning satellite data is processed before it even hits Earth. No waiting for intel officers to scroll through images. By the time it lands, the data is already flagged and labeled. And Ukraine is already using this in the war with Russia. Their forces are using Palantir's Meta Constellation plus AIP stack to spot enemy armor and satellite feeds, match coordinates with artillery ranges, and execute pinpoint strikes. This whole thing is about reacting faster than the enemy and turning a war of numbers into a war of information. And Palantir built the system that makes the entire planet observable and actionable at the speed of thought. Before the satellites, before the battlefield AI, there was Gotham, the original beast. The software so powerful, so paranoid, so freakishly good at connecting dots that the CIA, NSA, FBI, and DOD all became addicted to it. This was Palantir's first child, born from the wreckage of 9-11, raised by spies and deployed by armies. Gotham is a data fusion platform, but that doesn't even begin to describe what it's capable of. Imagine this, you've got 17,000 pages of surveillance logs, a blurry CCTV frame from Istanbul, two intercepted phone calls, a gas station purchase from six weeks ago, and a rental car registration in Nevada. All of that means nothing in isolation, but Gotham can connect the dots and say, these three suspects know each other, this one has ties to a known extremist, and they're all converging on a safe house 2.3 miles from a U.S. embassy. This is the software that let the military dismantle IED networks in Afghanistan by analyzing troop movement, bomb patterns, and cell tower pings. Gotham is also used by ICE to track illegal immigrants, by local police to analyze crime patterns, 
and by every three-letter agency that shows up in redacted files and conspiracy forums. This is the kind of tool that doesn't ask for your data. It just pieces it together from what's already floating around. Your social graph, your travel history, your grocery bill. If you've left a breadcrumb trail, Gotham can probably trace it. No subpoena, no knock, just inference. While everyone's drooling over generative AI, Gotham is still the dark wizard in the back room. Stitching timelines, tagging threats, and quietly being the eyes and ears of US global power. It's not sexy anymore. It's just everywhere, like gravity. So we've seen the brain and the eyes, but how do you run a war? Like, not just killing bad guys, but moving entire armies, tracking supplies, managing troops, coordinating air, sea, land, and cyber all at once. That's where Foundry and Vantage come in. This is the back-end AI logistics beast that makes sure the right people, weapons, and fuel show up at the right place before shit hits the fan. Think of Palantir's Foundry as a giant military brain that doesn't kill, but it makes killing possible. Every modern army is drowning in data from repair logs, troop health reports, inventory spreadsheets, HR records, and even cafeteria menus. Foundry takes in the chaos, processes it, and delivers coherent, real-time answers, like which units are combat ready, which soldiers haven't slept in three days, where the missing artillery ammo is, and who's most likely to quit next quarter. And then it goes one step further. Foundry predicts the future. It runs models to forecast readiness, morale, supply shortages, maintenance failures, all the invisible dominoes that collapse wars from the inside. Now take all that Foundry magic and slap a custom skin on it for the US Army. That's Vantage, the Army's command and control data platform running off Foundry's brain. Over 100,000 Army users are on this system right now. Commanders use it to monitor readiness across the entire force, move resources across continents, track deployment cycles, and even manage recruitment, personnel trends, and unit fatigue. Vantage is like football manager, but with tanks and lives on the line. With Foundry and Vantage in play, war isn't just about who has more troops. It's about who has better data, and who can make the right decision faster. If AIP is Palantir's combat brain, Foundry is the logistical bloodstream, and Vantage is the commander's Godview dashboard. So we've seen Palantir's empire of software, but what if you could pack all that AI, satellite access, and battlefield intel into a suitcase? That's Palantir's Sky Kit, a black box the size of a carry-on. Inside, there's a ruggedized laptop preloaded with Palantir's most powerful tools, real-time connections to live drone feeds, satellite uplinks through Starlink, trail cams, deployable sensors, encrypted radios, and enough AI processing power to run battlefield operations completely off-grid. In modern war, information equals survival. If you're out in the field and can't connect to HQ, you're blind, you're slow, and you're probably dead. But with a sky kit, you can launch your own drone, scan the terrain with AI, pull heat maps from orbit, and send targeting data up the chain before anyone back home has even finished their coffee. Palantir took what used to be a room full of analysts in a classified basement and packed it into a box you can strap to your back. Palantir is democratizing military intelligence, giving boots on the ground operators god-tier situational awareness anywhere, anytime. And when you combine SkyKit with Meta Constellations and AIP, you get a soldier who can spot a tank from space, simulate strike options, launch a drone, and call in an airstrike, all while hiding in the woods. So we've covered the flashy stuff, but none of that would work without Apollo and nobody talks about it, because Apollo isn't sexy. It's not launching drones or tagging targets. It's just quietly turning Palantir into a cheat code for modern war. Apollo is Palantir's continuous deployment and delivery system. It updates software in real time across top secret, air-gapped, classified government networks. In the old days, like three years ago, military software would sit untouched for months waiting on updates. Bureaucracy, red tape, Clearance delays and contractor bottlenecks weren't just frustrating, they were getting people killed. While everyone else clung to clunky 2000s relics, Palantir beamed updates straight into the war room. Apollo is the invisible force multiplier that keeps Palantir two iterations ahead while the competition is still filling out compliance forms. Apollo is the reason Palantir's empire doesn't crumble under its own weight. It's why AIP can run on a satellite and inside a submarine. 
why SkyKit can run AI off-grid on a mountain with zero connectivity. It's the silent engine behind the most advanced military software stack Earth has ever seen. And guess what? The Pentagon knows it, NATO knows it, the CIA definitely knows it, but most civilians have never even heard the name. 